Hi, everyone. I'm uh, just sitting down here getting ready to leave the house for the work day. Family's gone. Uh, it's Monday, the, what the hell is today's date? The 15th. And uh, it's been a frustrating archery season. And I just wanted to hit the record button and talk out some stuff and kind of vent a little. Um, it's been a unique archery season, I would say. Uh, many guys in our group have uh, have shot some incredible bucks, uh, several best bucks. Um, Dallas shot the best buck he's ever shot. Um, Brian shot a great buck. Jimmy shot a great buck. Um, Adam, yesterday, the 14th, shot the best buck of his life uh, up at camp. So it's certainly been a season of best and a season um, – that's just been different. Uh, I don't really know, you know, I think I'm talking to a lot of people, uh, that's been kind of a consistent feeling, uh, is that this season's been different. The, the deer movement has not been terribly predictable. It's been inconsistent. Um, but when it's, when it's on, it's on and, uh, big bucks have slipped up and made mistakes. Uh, and I think for me, um, looking at, you know, I've, I've been keeping a log looking at when I've, when I've been out, you know, I've been trying my, my number one goal, you know, this year, you know, as far as deer hunting has been, I, I really want to shoot a mature buck. So that's been, um, on my list of things to do. Um, but always is, you know, to, to fill the freezer. Um, that's, you know, why I hunt. I don't hunt for trophies. I hunt for, you know, filling the freezer for food for the year. Um, you know, that's the number one goal. Do I want to shoot a big buck every year? hundred percent. That's, you know, that's what all of us hunters dream about is shooting that big buck. Um, and you know, I've kind of gotten a little bit away from, I've been, well, I don't know. Let me, I've been trying to do things differently because I'm also trying very hard. So I guess this would be point two. Um, point two is that I very badly wanted to, you know, be cognizant of things at home, uh, take care of, you know, be here for my wife, help her out. Um, two young kids is a handful. Um, I don't know if everybody experiences the same thing, but, um, my two kids certainly have my energy level and have my, uh, my nonstop, uh, need to be doing something and need attention. Um, so I apologize to my wife for that because those are the genes that they got from me. Um, but they're a lot. And so I understand that. And it's a long season, you know, starting in September, going to Colorado for, for seven days and being away. Um, you know, I knew that this season, you know, a big piece of what I was going to be trying to do was going to be uh, keeping the pressure off of my wife and not, you know, letting her get run down too fast either. Um, you know, it's a long deer season here in New York running three months essentially. And with this new late season after Christmas, which I, I'm, you know, that's a huge piece in my puzzle. Um, you know, I, I've very badly wanted to keep the home front strong and I feel like I've done that and, uh, and that's a win. Um, but one of the things that I've, you know, I've done because of that is I've been very, I've been trying to be out doing different things. You know, if I could get a couple hours in here, a couple hours in there, um, going and hunting different spots, you know, trying to, trying to hunt different, um, and take advantage of the time that I have. And, you know, that's certainly been a factor where I, you know, I've been bouncing around a lot. Um, so this is, you know, this conversation here is just for me, um, not making excuses, but I'm also kind of trying to reflect and I've been doing a lot of reflecting the last 24 hours, um, because I think my archery season is done at this point um, and focusing on gun season coming around the corner. But I think one of the things that I can reflect on myself, I was, I was, uh, you know, talking through this this morning with, with Scott from Hunter's Creek outdoors down at the gym and uh, you know, we had our, our Monday morning uh, counseling session and uh, you know, I, I bounced around a lot. And I think that if there's one thing that I could go back to um, in looking at, you know, the guys who, you know, have had success this year. I don't, you can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for the people in my circles. Most of them were, you know, were getting out when they could doing the same thing I am, but they were hunting, you know, hunting the same spots that they know that they've had success in, in the past. And it's just a matter of time until something happened. And, um, for me, you know, I think this, the, the mobile hunting game has certainly become a factor, um, in my, my bouncing around. And, you know, there's absolutely benefits to that. But uh, there's times when you need to just be patient and go to the spot that you know is going to be good 
And this time of year, you know, anything can happen at any time and bucks are on their feet and cruising. You just don't know who's going to show up. Um, so I'm kind of a little bit frustrated with myself as I reflect back on the last, especially the last two and a half, three weeks. Um, the, the Halloween weekend was not what it normally is movement wise. The weather was awful. Um, and I hunted hard. I hunted three days in the woods nonstop. Um, and I just had zero action and that really got to me and I got frustrated and, uh, came home that weekend with some pent up aggression because I, you know, just didn't have opportunity and I haven't even to this point, I haven't had a shot opportunity to doe. You know, I love shooting does. I haven't even had a single opportunity. Um, I feel like I'm doing things right. I feel like I'm putting myself in, in, in good spots. But again, going back to that, I'm bouncing around a lot. I haven't sat the same stand twice the entire season. I've got, um, I think 16 sits in at this point. Um, I haven't sat the same spot twice and, you know, I got, you know, it's so funny because when you're in the heat of it and your your wheels are turning, season's coming, it's like, man, I got three hours. I'm going to get out. I'm going to sit in the stand tonight or this morning or, you know, I can do a, an all-day sit today. You know, you're, you're, you're always looking ahead and start, instead of looking back, um, you know, to take in what's happened in the past. And I, it's hilarious because I, I do this podcast and I talk about this stuff with other guests um, or, I, or I talk about historical things that have happened and here I am, you know, not listening to those things that I've done and things that I've said. So um, archery season's tough. The rut has been a grind. Um, I'm I'm lacking a little confidence right now when it comes to my bow. Um, I haven't shot anything uh, this year, and it's, you know, it's starting to wear on me a little bit. So um, I guess this is my story, and this is what I'm going through. And I'm, uh, I'm very happy for, I, I sincerely am very happy for everybody who has had success so far and congratulations to all of you that have, I mean, Ben's just some, some outstanding bucks that have been shot. Um, but here I am and, uh, and it's been, a, it's been a struggle and we're going to hold on one second here and, uh, Jim, Jim, Morning, Billy. hold hold on a second. I'm, uh. I'm going to turn something on here, see if I can get you connected. Are you there? I'm connected. Okay. Um, I'm doing a podcast right now by myself, and now you're on it. Oh, wow. How do you feel about that? That worked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, great. What timing? Yeah. I'm I'm actually, I was just getting ready to leave, uh, leave the house for work, and uh, I was like, you know what? I need to, got a lot going on in my head right now. I need to take a break and and uh, talk for a few minutes just to talk through my challenges of this archery season. And uh, I was going to call you when I got on the road because that's what we do on Mondays is we talk to each other about what's <laughs> happened. So where are you at? How are things going? Dude, the longest mental grind uh, season I've ever had, yeah. hands down. Uh, I sat two straight days, Saturday and Sunday. This past Sunday we were able to hunt here in PA. Um, I sat dark to dark both days, and I saw a, a button buck. That's it. So, um, I still got two doe tags and a buck tag and, um, looking forward to getting the guns out. I'm just, uh, I don't know. It's, it's been, we talked about that whole trickle rut scenario. And I think that's definitely true. Um, and I think the guys that have, are producing in, in November are just really in a good spot at the right time. Yeah. I think most, most of the killing, especially the good deer killing that I saw on PA, happened at end of October. October. So that's, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, th- I, did, I didn't have the time off then yet. So. Yeah. and there, But there's been a lot of great buckshot, you know, just this weekend. I, several guys in my circle um, and, you know, seeing stuff on social media, people, people are, are they're out in the woods and they're knocking them down. And it's, it's just being in the right spot at the right time. And I, so I, I just was sitting down here to have this, you know, kind of talking through my archery season and some of the things that I think I, I did right and some of the things I think I did wrong. Um, and I know you are in the same spot as me. It's, you know, you live all year for this. You practice, you train, you tune your bow, you buy equipment, you get yourself ready, and you get yourself so amped up for, you know, you hope to be your first set. You get, you know, a slammer walk by or just a doe or just a, whatever trips your trigger to walk by and, yep. and then you get, you know, 15, 20, 20 days of 
time in the tree in and that opportunity hasn't presented itself, it really starts to wear on you. And uh, it's frustrating. But I, I guess for you, I'm curious because you and I talk a lot about this. I mean, family is very important to you and I. And, it, you know, that's that was the one point that I brought up here talking with myself is that I, I really needed this season to focus on the home front and to make sure that things stayed good here and not allow – my passion and my drive to chase deer to because you hear it time and time again that it causes trouble in the home front you know so I mean and I know that's a huge thing to you too and you know so how do you how do you feel like you've balanced your your life over the last month and a half I've definitely and she's been tremendous with this whole thing but I've definitely uh I've definitely put more time at home than I normally would have in the past and I think it's going to get easier I think that that's going to pay off in the long run, as he gets older and easier to deal with, mm-hmm. um, and uh, easier on her anyway. And um, I, I think that I just, just need to buy our time, you know? Yeah. Right now, it's just not our time. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I I'm, I definitely – I used a lot of vacation days earlier in the year because did some family vacations and camping and different things like that. So I chose to, to spend my time that way and not – Put as much time in the woods as I should have, both preseason and, and season. And it, I mean, I guess I, there's some correlation to that as to why I haven't harvested anything yet, because typically by this time I'd have a deer dead. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's that coupled with the crazy weather patterns and temperatures and things we've had. It's just been one of those years. Yep. So, but yep. I'm not I'm not blaming it on the fact that I put more time at home because I certainly don't regret that. I think that's going to pay off in the long run. Oh, 100 percent. And and it's and it's times you can't get back. I mean it. You know, yesterday afternoon, I, you know, we did, uh, I hunted Saturday morning, um, had a pretty good sit. I saw four bucks in a doe, um, just nothing to shoot at. And, um, you know, Sarah, Sarah took the kids back to our, our friend's house back in Avon and hung out for the, for the day. And they got home at three and I got home at like two thirty, and I was here to help. And we had a nice evening and yesterday went and did family pictures. And, you know, I really, I really wanted to hunt last night. And I got really frustrated because she didn't want me to. Uh, the kids were a handful yesterday, and neither one of them wanted an afternoon nap. And, you know, so, I, like, I was really frustrated. And uh, But I'm glad I didn't because we ended up having a decent night, and I've had a good time with the kids. I took the kids over to – took Billy over to Brian and Molly's and worked on my truck and got a couple things done, and you know, everything was good. But it's – you know, you, in the end, it's like – you, you want to be out there. You want to get every, every last sit you can. Um, but it's like, for what, you know, I, like it doesn't benefit me right now to go out. Like the, the best season is yet to come is the way I'm looking at things. Um, and it's, I have way more confidence with a gun. I've been way more successful with a gun. Uh, obviously I think just about everybody could say that, but I like my game is coming. My game time is coming. I'm, and I'm, I need to focus on that and not get, you know, muddled down and hoping and praying that I'm going to have a deer walk by me, you know, one more time so that I can shoot a buck. It's like, for what, you know, like, I guess it, it, I'm at this point right now, like I really badly want to hunt tonight because the, it's, there's snow on the ground here. It's cold. And we're gonna have a Northwest wind, like everything's lining up for some good opportunity tonight, but it's like, for what, like, what am I going to go out and shoot a buck right now? And you know, it, for what? I, like, I guess that's where I am. It's like, yeah. like I'm battling yeah. myself because I know I want to hunt, but it's like, what the hell good is going to come from me going out tonight? Nothing. There's going to be no good. Yeah, it's going to come from that. Yeah. So I was uh, when I was when I was in the tree last night, uh, I was thinking that exact thing. I'm like, you know, it's Sunday night. I'm pressing right now to try to put something on the ground. If I do, it's just going to make my week that much harder to try to get the deer cut in between work and juggling the kid. Right. Um, I'm like, you know, I, Saturday what is an ideal day for me to kill, just like timing wise with getting the deer process and everything. So, I mean, uh, yeah, it gets tougher and tougher. But I think, like I said, our time is coming. It's just we need to take care of the the kid at the kids at home right now and the wives, and and then we're gonna roll into some good hunting in the years to come. I think. Yeah, yeah, and the rest of the season, the rest of the season is gonna be good, and. Yeah. P- and, uh, you know, PA, PA deer yeah. camp, you've, you're, you know, you're still on I'm the on docket. Board. Yeah. You're on board. Um, so Dallas actually went down yesterday and hunted down there. Um, so I haven't had a chance to talk to him yet, but 
I mean, I assume he, did, he didn't shoot anything because I didn't hear anything, but I'm interested to see how his hunt, his hunt went and all that good mm-hmm. stuff. So, And you're coming up to New York this weekend. So I am. You're pretty. I'm, I'm super jacked up. My first time, my first time hunting Western New York. I mean, yeah. And with a gun in my hand, I I can't. It's gonna be. I'm hoping I kill something. Yep. You're gonna be hunting one of the best so. areas of of New York State down in uh, Steuben County. So I'm excited for you to experience the opening day up here and see what that tradition's yep. like with your friends up up in this neck of the woods. And yep. Never know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll cross paths. Probably not. But you never know. I was, gonna, I was just going to say that I don't know if we're going to cross paths. I know Donnie said he extended in by three boys to come to camp, but with everyone else's camps going on, uh, you know, it's a lot. So. Yeah, it's, I mean, opening weekend is so tough because you have all of your traditions. Everybody has their, yep. so like, you know, our Friday night is everybody at our camp. And then, um, you know, we've got our, like our big family. I think we're, we're probably going to have one of the bigger camps we've had in years. I think we're going to have 10 guys spending the night at camp. And then we've got some guys that come up, like my uncles, that just hunt the property back in Lima. They they come up every year and hang out the night before. Um, so we'll have a big camp, you know, party at camp on on Friday night. But then Saturday night we go to our neighbor's house. I mean, we've been doing that for I don't know twenty years. So you know that we got that tradition. Um, so everything will loosen back up later in the season, and you know might have some opportunity to venture around and see people in different places, but. The best yep. is yet to come. I guess that's what the the theme of this is. I'm I'm uh I'm very excited to put the seven mag in my hand and oh, three doe tags in my pocket and well I got more <laughs> more than that. But I'm just gonna. I told you know Big Jim I think he's coming with me because he's kind of burnt out um, hunting some of the same spots he's been hunting. So I think he and Jeff are gonna he and Jeff Jones are gonna come with me on opening day and we're gonna go go to public again. And, um, mm-hmm. it, it's going to be a doe day, you know, I, I'm first doe I see that I have a shot opportunity at, uh, she's going to take yep. around and, um, it, we're just going to start laying them down. That That's the expectation for opening day is, um, at least three does. That's my expectation for opening day. Not for me, for anybody, you know, but if, Hey, if I could yep. fill all three of my tags, I'll be, uh, I'll be a happy camper. We'll be eating loins. Yep. So. I just had this conversation with my dad last night because he wanted to know what my plans were for New York and for the rest of the season in PA and gun season. And uh, I said that, you know, bow archery is my true passion. That's where I try to shoot. I try to hold out for a, a good, real good one. And this year I was really holding out for a really good one. I let some ones I should have probably shot early in the season go by, and I'm regretting it now. But, um, yeah, the archery, you know, when gun season comes around, it, we dream big and shoot small. That's typically what happens. Mm-hmm. So uh it's like you know now the freezer's getting empty i just was reminded by my wife last night that she picked out a couple of uh uh, frozen um uh ground venison packets and she's like hey we're down to our last meat shelf (laughs) yeah you know (laughs) and she and i'm like well thanks for thanks for the reminder honey you know yeah uh so uh, meat is important so when i come to new york uh, I told Donnie that I would hold out i wouldn't shoot a spike but i would shoot anything (laughs) with four points or better yeah uh I'm, i'm feeding it yeah, that's you, you got to feed them. And and that's like, yep. I'm in the same boat. Like I, this whole like chasing a mature buck thing, um, uh-huh. it's like this double-edged sword because I also look at it from my wife's point of view. And like I said to her yesterday, I, like when I'm, you know, kind of frustrated that I'm not going to go out and hunt last night, I'm like, you just don't understand. I, you know, I'm, I'm like, this is my passion. This is my drive. And she's like, I don't care if you shoot a big buck or not. You know, and it like, it kind of like staggered me. And I take a step back and it's like, she doesn't give a shit. All she cares mm-hmm. is that I we have meat for the rest of the year. Like we eat, we like mm-hmm. we are almost at the bottom of the freezer. And I shot five deer last year, so like yeah. that's no joke. Yep. Like we eat a lot of meat, and yep. so so I owe it. You know, as much as you know anything, I owe it to her to get out there and start just filling some tags because we need meat, and you know that's what we do. Like we eat venison. That's what our family all the way up and down yep. the chain in the Harveys, we eat venison. So I owe it to her. She doesn't give a shit whether it's a two point or a freaking, you know, 180 inch record book buck. She doesn't care. It's not going to make her love me more or, you know, make my kids aren't going to think I'm a better hunter or not. They just, they just want to know that I'm, that I'm bringing, bringing home the bacon. So that's, I got to stay it. focused we, uh, on that. You know, I, I got to take more. I take a lot of pride in the fact that um, my family doesn't have to buy red meat all year. Yeah. And, I need to just, 
I need to do my job. My my job is <laughs> and the man of the house is to provide the food. So let's yeah. let's let it eat. Let it eat. Let it eat. The best is yet to come. <laughs> yeah. That so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you loose. I gotta get in the car and I got a meeting at nine thirty, but I'll give you a call back uh when I get on the road. Shoot the shit. Yeah, call. But thanks yep, thanks for good. thanks for being part of this Monday morning quarterback show where uh yeah. we both uh we both take our tags and, and look at them and cry for a little while. So That's all. Yeah. Uh, our, our our time's coming. Our time's coming. The <laughs> best is yet to come now, baby, you'll be mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Good luck this All weekend, right, everybody. Well, we'll talk to everybody Wednesday night, but I'm going to get this out a little early so everybody can uh, come down from the high. So, All right, talk to you, Jim, yep. and we'll talk to everybody yep. Wednesday night over on the Bullhorn app. See you.